We haven't had any kind of issues really with you know the stability of the system or going down. Upgrades are really easy to perform. Um, the logging and error messaging has been really helpful. Um, I know the, one of the nice features we've had about it is that it's easy to kind of dig into something that you want to look into with, with the logging that's available in Iguana. And so that makes it you know really simple to administer and not really a heavy duty job duty for, for anyone, whether myself or someone else. It runs really well in the background. So I think like a good, these systems like interface engines I think of are things that are, they're kind of like utilities. So the best thing, the best kind of experience of it is not having to think about it. And so that's kind of how we are with, with um, Iguana. We don't have to really think about it that much. And that's really, you know, we have to remind, you know, leadership and stuff that we have it. Um, sometimes that these are, these are the products we have. You know, this is what we're using it, and this is what we're using it for. So that, that to me is a good thing about it. it. It's not, if you have something that works like a utility and you always have to think about it, that, that's bad. Because that means something's probably wrong. Or, you know, it's, it's, high, it's high maintenance. Well, it helps us because we don't just use our integration engine for traditional integrations. Like if you think of an HL7, you know, ADT or sending CCDAs. We also rely on it to help us aggregate and prepare data for our analytic systems. So that involves manipulating and transforming large quantities of data from different EHR systems. Um, where we don't have a standardized EHR for an organization of mostly independent physicians. So we have over a dozen EHRs we work with. And then some of those EHRs we have 10, 20 instances of. And so we have to get all this data together, get in consistent formats and send it to receiving systems. And Iguana worked really well in doing that in addition to the, the traditional, what you would think of it. Uh, interface engine duties and that was really the, the main reason why we um, chose and the main reason why it's actually worked really well for us still. So being able to have something kind of as a service that you could scale up easily without having to build a whole lot of infrastructure is, is advantageous and um, we just hosted on a server that's hosted by our hosting company and you know the actual cost of hosting it and the cost of setting it up is, is reasonable. We didn't have to make huge huge capital outlays let's say to to start off with licensing like you would maybe with certain other systems. Having systems that can help us you know, efficiently normalize and get that data to a, a system to present it um, is probably going to be a lot of our future work and we would definitely rely on Iguana, especially when we have to do it for multiple instances of the same system because um, I thought we found that that's where it shined really well and it was an efficient source of you know, use of the, Iguana, the model of the software.